This video has one purpose. It's to teach you ways to use technology to your advantage when trying to catch a cheating partner. Let's begin. Now here's a disclaimer. The stuff I'm going to highlight in this video are merely for awareness and educational purposes. Laws may exist in your country that do not allow or permit the use of such solutions. Also, the information I'm providing in this video is not to be used for unlawful, unreasonable or nefarious purposes. It's a severe violation of privacy and can cause significant emotional and psychological harm to the target. Use them at your own risk. We go. So there are certain types of software that are designed to track and monitor someone's activities on their mobile device or computer without their knowledge or consent. It's often used by individuals to spy on their partners, ex-partners, other people they want to monitor. Stalkerware is typically installed on the target's device through physical access, social engineering, or phishing attacks. Once installed, it can track a target's location, call logs, text messages, browsing history, social media activity, and other sensitive information. It can also record audio and video, take screenshots, activate the device's camera and microphone, all without them knowing. This kind of software, however, is illegal in many jurisdictions and is considered a form of domestic abuse or harassment. I just thought I'd put that out there. Also, for most people, they wouldn't even think to buy such software, but in this video, I'll show you six simple ways to catch a cheat using tech at no or minimal cost to you. Let's begin. Number one is to search every letter of the alphabet. So how it works is pretty simple. It's using a cheat's search history against them. I mean, cheats would have to be so stupid not to clear their search histories on their browsers. If they routinely access dating sites, for example, they'll probably think to cover their tracks. However, autofill is harder to remember for most people. Now, if your partner uses search engines like Google, you'll quickly discover that Google actually does a remarkable job of guessing your search parameters based on everything you've ever searched before. For example, if you share a computer with a suspected partner, right, you can simply go to google.com, type in the search bar, the letter A. You'll immediately begin to see all the things your partner has searched for beginning with the letter A. Now you can continue your search with the letter B, C, D, etc. You'll be surprised to find out some things that your partner searches for, from dating sites to stuff that might be even unspeakable. All I will say is be prepared for anything. Number two, secret messages and online documents. So the most dangerous habits for cheats is to send photos and videos to whoever they're cheating on you with, right? Cheats like to relive the moments in their head and like to keep a lot of these things for easy reference and keepsakes, really. If you ever ask someone who cheats who's been caught by their partner, they most likely will tell you that their partner found an audio message, a picture, or something along those lines. So how are cheats hiding their misdemeanors these days? You'll be surprised that the tactics they use aren't even that sophisticated. I mean, there are apps that can make certain pictures, for example, look like a document. There are also apps that allow you to password protect your text messages, your photos. Nothing new here. One way, however, that a lot of people overlook is simply to go into Google Documents on your partner's or, you know, your computer or phone, and they are usually known to create online Google Documents or Microsoft 365 files that look like innocent files until they're opened. So, for example, you'll find a file name that's titled Monthly Budget. And indeed, when the file is open, the first page appears to be a bunch of numbers or corporate speak. But scrolling down reveals the file's real purpose. The online document is being used as a covert way to share notes, to share videos and photos with someone else. You're going to have to be really smart with this one. Number three is to check the phone's locations. So as we become more reliant on GPS, you may also want to peek at your partner's location history. For Google users who use Gmail, unless this function is turned off, Google will always send you a Google timeline email. With this feature, you're able to tell exactly where you were on what given day, and you could do this for a specified number of months. So for example, if you went to Cancun in January in 2023, chances are Google has those records that will show you your Google timeline ever so often. Without having to go snooping looking for this timeline email sent by Google, all you have to do is once again to gain access to your partner's email in the search bar above, simply type location history. If your partner has locations turned on on their phone, you'll be able to tell every place that they've been for the last couple of weeks. 
If your spouse uses an iPhone, there's one place to be sure to look. And many people don't even know this treasure trove of tracking exists. You can find an iPhone user's frequent locations in settings, go to privacy, then location settings, system services, and then significant locations. It takes a fair amount of effort to disable or delete these types of settings consistently. So if they're up to no good, you're likely to find something. Number four, secretly record when you're out of earshot or out of the house. Now, if you suspect there are serious things going on behind your back, you can use the device I'm about to tell you to record all audio surreptitiously. I recently discovered a device which is available online and has a voice activated microphone, meaning it only starts recording when it hears a voice and it can record up to 800 hours on 64 gigabytes of RAM. The newly released KT-1000 by Night Security, an American company, is the most versatile and best all round portable recorder on the market, offering an unmatched combination of features like the ones I just mentioned, but also long lasting 70 hour battery, perfect size. It's almost the size of my wristwatch, as you can see, magnetic base, durable aluminum alloy plus ABS, exterior time-stamped recordings, and so much more. With Knight's KT-1000, you'll be sure to hear it all so you can get the peace of mind you deserve. And I must mention that Knight Security is actually the sponsor of today's video. I'll leave a link to the KT-1000 recorder in my video description below so you can own one today as well. Let's move on to number five. So you want to go through their trash and recycle bin. Now, if you know anything about technology, you should know that deleted digital items are typically never gone for good, right? A computer's trash or recycle bin retains items until the bin is emptied. Cloud services such as Dropbox let you restore items from trash. Emails deleted accumulate in the trash until they're emptied. Voicemails on an iPhone are deleted but can be retrieved if you want. Apps deleted from your phone can be restored as well. However, remember this, even though many cheats are quick to delete items from the most obvious places, they tend to forget to delete items from the recycle bin or their trash. I say, if you suspect something, it's the best place to look for evidence of infidelity. I know it can be time consuming to find evidence of a cheat, but sometimes when you're desperate, you do crazy things. Just be sure to take care of yourself in the process. And finally, number six, apps can hide secret calls and text messages. And I'm sure some of you already know that. So in real life, yeah, people get to go to great lengths to hide their indiscretions. Unless your partner is particularly daring, you're not going to see a chat app on their home screen or steamy messages in their text message folder. There are plenty of apps for sharing messages, photos, videos, and more that aren't what they seem to be. There's a specific app that caught my attention. It looks like a calculator. I'm not gonna promote them, but the only reason I'm bringing it up is because the calculator saves texts and call logs of secret contacts. To get a better idea of what apps your partner uses and for how long, I suggest check their screen time report. Looking for anything out of the ordinary. I'd say using a calculator for four hours in a week seems a little odd, doesn't it? Screen time and usage on an iPhone, for instance, is simple to do. Go to settings, screen time, choose to see all activity, then week. This will show a summary of weekly use. You can tap day, for instance, to see daily summary. If you want to check app usage on an Android, tap settings, digital well-being and parental controls, dashboard to view screen times for each app. Screen time shows what apps have been on the screen and for how long, giving you very easy ways to hazard a guess about how your partner's phone is being used. We're at the end of today's video, and I know it's a lot, but to catch a cheat, you always want to be one step ahead. If and when you do discover something though, remember to think through your actions thoroughly before you confront the person. Approach them in a calm, serious tone, else they will be defensive and close up. And at that point, it will be harder to get them to admit their infidelity. My name is Jessica. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Durable aluminum alloy. Durable aluminum, aluminum alloy. Durable aluminum. Durable aluminum. Jesus.